Alright, how's it going folks? Today we are taking a look at the molds that Greg has made in the new snapshot. Uh, we looked at these the other day, but there were a few that were uncraftable. They all should be craftable now. We're going to try a few of them out. So, ingot make with a brick, plastic bar if you can get one, nether brick, any iron, copper tin, zinc, lead, bismuth, brass, bronze, bismuth, bronze, or gold, and most if not all of them can be smelted in a uh, furnace. I don't think gold can. Yeah, gold can't, but all the other ones can. Bronze and copper and tin, lead, all that can be smelted up in a furnace. Brick is the easiest one, especially with Greg's clay veins. That's the one I personally will be using. And then we have a chunk, which is petrified wood. That's from the Erebus. Plastic chunk. A regular rock. Let's, uh, I haven't actually tried this one. I've never made a chunk mold. Never seen a real use for a chunk mold. Um, but I don't work much with molds, so. Oh, it's rolling pin, not hammer. What are you thinking? We're just going to make three of these for the moment. I'll make a new rolling pin if I have to. I'm not really going to be popping these out. We're just going to. Recipe shows up yeah, right there. Chunk mold. All right, so that's that one. Then the plate mold, you can just use a plank. I already knew about that one. The tiny plate, you really can't do um, without, you know, metal, copper, all the same things we went through before. Gold which you can make them with a saw and a regular plate, eight to one. And let's see, bolts is gonna be uh, short sticks, which is just cutting a regular stick. That's very easy to do. Or you can use a stone bolt, which you can do from a stone rod. Not sure you can make stone rods though. Yeah, can't really make them without a extruder. I didn't think there was. All right, so then the rod mold is just a stick. We looked at that the other day. Now item casing and ring both are going to take metal, um, unless you want to get. There is no way of making a wooden ring whatsoever. I have no idea why they even exist because you can't even extrude them. Stone ones you can make in an extruder. It is a low heat extruder, but I'm guessing you're probably going to want to make rings possibly before that. So you can just make one with the copper, iron, bronze, brass, lead, tin, gold. I'm going to stop saying all of them, you know, the low temp metals that all of them can be done. All right, then gears, you can just make a wood gear, which is short sticks and planks with a saw. Small gear, you have to make from cutting down a plank or for the metal ones. It is cutting down a plate, or hammering a plate, sorry. Looks like you can make stone ones from stone, or a stone plate and a file. So, if you want to make 
a stone one for it, you can. Although, I would just go for a wood one myself. Although, with all these different woods in here, you got to find the right one to see the recipe. And this is the one I wanted to try. Because he has this null one in here. I want to make sure that this is going to work. And if it works with any of the others, the pickaxe one was the one I was going to try. But we can go ahead and just make a wooden sword here. You have different options. But there's the regular wooden sword. Most definitely works. And he added the wooden pickaxe, wooden uh, hoe, and oh, shovel. That's the one I was looking for. There's also the axe, too. So, axe and shovel. All of them you can use the basic Minecraft wooden tools for. Or you can use any of the metal stuff we've discussed, or a wooden uh, head, or a stone head, which we'll look at making those in just a minute. Alright, so we're going to make a flint shovel. Now that should cover the null thing. If I put that in there, it does work. Okay. So I just wanted to make sure that null one was going to work. Now, what about... I have this axe. It has durability off of it. Does that work? It will. Okay, so it doesn't even matter what the durability of it is. Use one that's about ready to break. And it'll still work. All right, that's cool. All right, so now we're going to look at these blades here. So these are wooden sword blades, which apparently have always existed. I just didn't know it. I don't make wooden tools because, you know, they're useless, especially when you've got flint. But they're a little different. I was confused the other day when I was talking to Greg because I'm used to, let's actually look up a, let's use pickaxe because that's what I'm doing here. What are these? These are BC transport. Let's get rid of this crap. Thought I already had that off of there. Um. Craft facades. Hey, there we go. Get the hell off my screen. All right, so if you look at a raw osmium pickaxe, it has to be extruded to make it. Um, you can pour it with a mold as well. And then if you look at, let's find. Regular, that's emerald. See an emerald pickaxe. You craft it. And it becomes the regular pickaxe. Um, Mars, Mars, Mars sand. Really? So granite. Granite pickaxe. Apparently you make those... See, I I guess I've never made the head. It's just weird to me that the metal ones come out as the regular ones. But the wood and the stone apparently come from raw ones. You craft the raw one. And then you file it. So I guess that's where I was confused. So we want to make a... 
dark oak pickaxe is going to be tell me I need a soft hammer and a saw saw there and soft hammer there that gives you the raw dark oak pickaxe That will make your pickaxe head or your pickaxe mold. File that. That gives you the actual usable pickaxe head, which you can also use to make your mold. How bad is this thing's durability? It is damn 32. Some of my, uh, some of the rock ones are only 32. I just looked at that the other day. Hold on a minute. Uh, rocks. I was looking at Kimber Light because uh, it's a level 3 material, if I remember correctly, for mining. It's only 2400. It is level 2, not level 3. I was thinking you need level 3 to mine it. But still, that's 2400. This one is 20. So, this one is a level 1 at 2400. This is a level 2 at 2400. But a dark oak is 3,200. How in the hell is wood better than stone? Don't make no damn sense to me. But anyways. Back to the molds. So that was what I actually needed to test. Was making those that way. So then. You have the sword. The pickaxe. And then the spade, you can just make a spade, or you can do the, make a wooden one, which you can make with a soft hammer, a saw, and a plank. Then you have the shovel, universal spade, same thing, you can make the wood version. You just need a saw, a file, and a regular shovel head. Axes, double axes, you just use two axe heads. Looking to see if he has... That's the regular double axe. But he didn't actually put in two already made axes, like... Two flint axes won't make a double axe in. Interesting. But you can make the wooden axe heads like that. Alright, so axe, double axe, the saw. You actually have to have a metal version for that. There is no stone wooden saws because well they wouldn't do shit even though I do believe yeah there's a lead saw which ain't going to cut shit keep bringing that up to Greg he's probably tired of hearing it and then you have soft hammers regular hammers or wooden hammerheads stone hammerheads or any of the metals that you can normally use. File. You got any file. And they can only be made for metal things. But you do have the copper file. Which you can't actually use to make anything. It's literally just here for making this mold. If you want to use copper. And then you also have lead. Which shouldn't exist because a lead file is nuts. 
Then you got a screwdriver, which is any screwdriver. And metals, there's no wood or stone version of those. Chisel, any chisel that's already crafted or any of the metal ones that we've earlier discussed. No stone or uh, stone or wood versions of those. Had a brain fart for a second. Would have been nice if Greg brought back the uh, flint chisel for this, but he got rid of that a long time ago, and I don't think it's making a reappearance anytime soon, even though he could make it as a head that doesn't have a handle. So like a piece of flint and a stick in uh, upside down in like the reverse of the shovel would make a chisel. But you couldn't actually, it would just give you a chisel head. Might be an idea for that. Although with all of these now, you don't really need a chisel early on. Making one from a uh, plate and a rod isn't really that big a deal. And then arrows, you can actually use a full arrow or just a piece of flint or a wooden or stone or any of the metals, arrowheads. Wood arrowhead is just a plank, an axe, or a saw. Saw and a soft hammer. Never seen an axe or a double axe used for these, but... That's new. And you got the hoe. We've already been over that. The scythe, which is scythe blade. Three planks of wood, a saw, and a soft hammer. Or the metal version. And then the plow. Call me Mr. Plow. Which is six pieces of wood. A saw and a soft hammer for the wood version. Or... Again, any of the metal ones. So, that is all of the new stuff for the molds here. I've got some more I need to get made with these three. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed and take it easy.